Today we'll make an excellent natural fungicide that will keep fungi from appearing on your plants. It is critical to complete this as soon as possible to avoid crop loss. I'll show you two versions of the fungicide. We'll make the first with just one ingredient and the second with three. Plants must be protected from pests and diseases in order to thrive and produce abundantly. Powdery, mildew, and blight are fungal diseases that can severely damage cucumber, tomato, and other plant crops. Organic fungicides help to control plant diseases in an environmentally friendly manner. Organic fungicides are natural products that do not contain harsh chemicals that could harm the environment or human health. Spraying plants with organic fungicides on a regular basis helps to prevent disease spread and keeps them healthy throughout the growing season. This reduces the need for more aggressive treatment methods after the disease has progressed, which can be less effective and more expensive. Add one tablespoon of garlic powder to 800 milliliters of warm water. You could also use fresh garlic. Garlic contains natural antimicrobial substances, including allicin, which has fungicidal properties. Garlic spray can help control the growth and spread of fungal infections on plants. Additionally, garlic is a natural and environmentally friendly product. If you want a more potent fungicide, add 100 milliliters milk. Milk contains bacteria that produce antimicrobial substances, as well as proteins that can help fight fungal infections. Diluted milk can be used as a plant spray to inhibit fungal growth and strengthen the immune system. Milk is used as both a fungicide and a plant supplement. The final ingredient is well-known baking soda. Add one tablespoon. Baking soda inhibits the growth and reproduction of fungi. It inhibits the germination of fungal spores, thereby aiding in the control of fungal diseases in plants. Baking soda alkalizes the surface of plants' leaves. This creates an unfavorable environment for many fungi, as the majority of them prefer acidic conditions to grow and reproduce. Spray the plants every couple of days, preferably after a rain. Thank you for watching. It would be our pleasure if you could share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tips. Many thanks and greetings.